Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and happy new year. Now we are at the beginning of the year and this is my finale of Partners in Cream. I really was super, super busy at the end of the year. I, I mentioned that I had COVID, I was uh, recovering from that. So yeah, I'm only just doing the finale now. I did want to round everything up and just give you my thoughts, final thoughts of this project, how I've been getting on and whether or not I'll be doing it this year. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Starting off with a really positive one. This is my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I actually finished this. So it did take me a lot to finish this one. I was scraping down the sides. I mentioned in the last update that I haven't been able to pump anything because yeah, it's it's just, you know, it's finished. Um, so what I've been doing is just using stuff from the pump um, and then just scraping um, product out. You can kind of see the scrapes there. Um, but yeah, I've completely finished it. I don't know if you can see the insides, but there is absolutely no product left. There may be like one more scrape left in this one, um, but I'm gonna call it empty. As I mentioned before, I've had this for such a long time. This is the shade Golden Caramel. It matches me really, really well in the winter, so I've been enjoying using it. Would I repurchase this? I'd probably say yes. I wouldn't rush to repurchase this because one of my things is uh, just trying new formulas and new things that come out. I really don't want to repurchase things that I don't completely love. Um, because I feel like it will just get lost in my collection. So I'm really trying to um, roll out things once it's finished and then roll in something a bit more, a bit different and just up to date because I do feel that foundation formulas are improving, there's new technology um, and I wanna just get with the time. So I'm pretty sure this is a very old formula. The final weights um, compared to the time that it was included in this project um, to now. Next is an almost empty but not quite. Uh, this is the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Medium. I actually put this on my Instagram to ask if I would finish this and I actually thought everybody would be like, yeah, you can finish it. I'll put the pictures of when I did uh, include it in the poll on Instagram, but I thought, uh, you know, it's a good little challenge for me and I probably can do it, but as I mentioned, I don't wanna blame COVID, but I got COVID, I didn't go out, so I just didn't get the use that I wanted out of this. But this formula is so creamy, it's beautiful, it's just, I'm wearing it today, it's just, it just blends so well. So I've really enjoyed this. I don't need a lot of product when I use it. So that probably contributed to the fact that I did not, I wasn't able to finish it by the end of this, uh, by the end of last year now. Um, but really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, won't be rolling this into next year, but I think I'll finish it very, very soon and just post updates on my Love Over Makeup lover of makeup pan instagram so if you want to see when i finish this and just progress in general just follow me on instagram next is my lip crayon now i knew i wouldn't finish this and i didn't track the progress um on a paper or anything so i found a new way to track it i actually purchased another one of these because i actually really like the formula and the way that i'm showing you the progress is just comparing to a brand new lip crayon. This one's a bit more cool tone, but it's so beautiful on the lips. And then this is the one that I've used. So my goal for this one was to actually use it up by the end of the year. I didn't think I would, but I just wanted to challenge myself. But I have made some good progress. So as you can see, this is how much I've used. So not a massive amount, but you know, it's not bad. This is how much I've used. I'm kind of a person that just, um, if there's a lip product, I'll just grab it and just use it and be like, oh, this looks nice. It probably need a little bit of this, add it into it. Um, but I don't really stick to one lip product. I'm just not that kind of gal. Um, I'm a person that kind of sticks to one foundation or one concealer if I really enjoy it. But with the lip stuff, I'm not really that bothered. So I do want to try and get more use out of this one. I just don't know if I can finish it. But maybe that's a challenge for me that I need to accept. Next is my ColourPop highlighter in this shade Wisp. Now, this is something that I had a goal to finish, but unfortunately I didn't finish this one either. But I made some really good progress. Like, I'm really happy with the progress. I put some before and after pictures of when it first went into the project. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've got maybe about six months, realistically, of use of this because I don't use a lot. Um, I've mentioned so many times that I don't really like uh, like really frosty highlighters and this is a bit on the frosty side for me and my complexion um, 
it would probably be best to use this mostly in the winter because in the summer I'm a bit more tanned. It's really good to use on the inner corners uh, but that will just mean that I use it up a little bit slower than I want to which I most likely will roll this into next year because yeah I just want to get my use out of it and I really don't want it to dry out so yeah um Lots of progress, but unfortunately did not finish this one by the end of the year. Last but not least is my e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in the shade Dirty Martini. Such a beautiful shadow, but I have not hit my goal on this. My goal was actually to use it 30 times. I went finishing something when it's not that old and I've got older things in my collection. Really, I should have probably chosen an older cream product in my collection, but I really love this colour and I thought I had a picture in my mind of using this in Christmas because the shade is just gorgeous. I just thought I would use this in around the holiday season, you know, around Christmas and New Year's, but I just didn't have the chance, you know, I was, I had COVID. So yeah, I mean, it just didn't go according to plan. My final use on this was 10 uses out of 30. So I'm gonna get more use out of this one this year, but did not hit my goal, unfortunately but we'll set some new goals and finish those. So those are the final updates. You know, I didn't manage to hit a lot of my goals, but some of them I did make a lot of progress on. So I'm happy overall. This is my first year doing Partners in Cream. So I've learned so much and going forward, I'll take those lessons into this year. It's not too sure of what projects I'm gonna do because I've seen so many new projects already started and I would love to just be a part of all of them, but I'm trying to be realistic with my collection and set goals for what I actually wanna do. One of the goals that I definitely wanna keep is using up my cream products. Um, stay tuned for the intros of my official project pans of 2022. And uh, if you did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.